And here at six later this month, we're going to find out which companies will be the first selected through a lottery to grow medical marijuana right here in the bluegrass state. There's been a lot of interest outside Kentucky to win one of those few and coveted business licenses. Our focus team investigator John Charlton hit the road to take us to one of those companies with experience with cannabis as it continues to grow. Unless you're in the car itself, you might think this country road is winding through rural Kentucky or maybe remote Indiana, lined with trees where homes are spread out from the nearest neighbor and clearings are farmed for staple crops like corn. But down County Road 665, pulling into a farm five hours north of Kentuckiana. Paw Paw, Michigan, which is in southwest Michigan. It was our first farm. There is a crop which hasn't taken root, at least not yet, in Kentucky or Indiana. 40 acres here, about 6,100 plants. It is, as the state motto goes, pure Michigan. Way more organic. Nothing can compete with Mother Nature. Full, very green, and fast growing. It just seems like yesterday that they were only like two foot tall. <laughs> now they're eight foot tall. Just a few weeks out from October harvesting. I also check out for stem rot. This crop is unique in that it's actually shielded from public view. The yellowing, the yellowing of a leaf for say like this. Even though marijuana as medicine has been legal in Michigan for 16 years and then recreationally since 2018. Grasshopper Farms got started in 2020 by Will Bowden. So the netting really is just to support the plants as they grow. The kind of guy you wouldn't think would do this. She looks beautiful. A veteran of the U.S. Coast Guard. Now they're starting to put their energy into the flower. And on top of that. To manage things like stress, anxiety. A cop. And the irony is not lost on anybody that now I'm standing in the middle of these trees. Rows and rows of them. Bowden says the yield is around 18 to 20,000 pounds. We have about 50,000 pounds of demand. So the plan is to grow more on another 40 acres. And this is going to be another approximately 20 beds. Bowden says new growth will still supply less than 5% of what the Michigan market demands. Outside of Michigan, Grasshopper Farms is also growing outdoors in Colorado and in New Jersey. The vision is even further expansion. The goal right now is 10 states. Into Kentucky as well. However, they decided to hold off on applying for a cultivator license in the bluegrass in this first round. Okay, so you guys were, were interested in Kentucky. Are you still interested in Kentucky at some point? Absolutely. When it comes to Kentucky, I like the framework. I think that the early framework is not going to be the enduring framework, meaning right now they don't allow for smokable flour, but that's going to change. Kentucky is also medical marijuana only, and that cannabis like this will have to grow inside under the lights instead of outside under the sun. That despite favorable natural conditions. Kentucky has a great climate for, for agriculture and Cannabis farms this side is just that, it is agriculture. We do add some nutrients, but majority of it is just water and water and sun. It is better for the environment from an electrical standpoint, from a regenerative standpoint, and all around sustainability. Pure Michigan. To me, this is when the plant turns from a plant into a tree. <laughs> it's their way of cultivating cannabis. The grasshopper out of grasshopper farms represents two things. So number one is always learning. And then number two is the grasshopper is hopping from season to season because we do have to start over with new plants every single season. A grow cycle, which might take a few more seasons for Kentucky to come around to. I am comfortable right now that we did not go into the first round in Kentucky, but I'm also very comfortable saying that we're gonna get into a subsequent round there. We're gonna do great there. And Kentucky received almost 5,000 applications for cannabis business licenses. Tomorrow, we'll have reaction from by Grasshopper Farms to that huge number and what they think about the program set up here. John Charlton, WHS 11, on your side.